My name is Dave Latelle. I'm 42 years old uh, and I'm of Māori and Samoan descent. I'm grateful for my family, I'm grateful for my wife, my children, and I, th I thank, uh, thank God every day that I have a, an amazing family with me. You know, I never, I, I didn't have my kids a few years ago, and I'm very, every time I look at them, I, I'm so grateful and feel very blessed that I have them in my lives, as well as my beautiful wife. I'm afraid of, I'm afraid of letting our, you know, our people down and not, not being able to feed our, the people in need that come to see us. That, that's what I'm most afraid of. Um, and that's why, you know, I, I work so hard to hustle and so hard to keep those connections with businesses and to ensure that we can um, keep feeding people. That, that, that's what I'm afraid of. You know, I'm not afraid of too much, but I am afraid of one day not being able to feed hungry children when they come here. I think the, you know, I do hold some resentment and, and you know, a bit of anger towards, uh, towards my father. I think, you know, we've, we've never really spoken too much about uh, his, his life and the effect that it had on, on me and my siblings and my mum. We've only talked about it once, which was on air, and then we haven't talked about it since. You know, we missed out um, a, a large chunk of, of our lives. We, he wasn't with us uh, through being in prison. And then and there was times when he, he was a youth worker. We, you know, again, he wasn't really helping us. He was helping others, uh, helping, you know, kids that needed him, which, you know, I understand now, but back then I didn't. Um, you know, and then, you know, even with the work that he does now, you know, I spoke to my father a couple of weeks ago and I said, you know, we're talking about family stuff and, you know, and he said about family is the most important. I said, well, what's, what's the point when is it really that important because we never see each other so what's the point so i, I definitely have some you know resentment there um but again it's just i guess it's the work that we're in and serving others so i'm very conscious that in serving others i'm not away from my family and uh because my dad's serving others and he's doing a great job for others but our relationship with our family's definitely suffered mm. you know, to my family, because again, like I was talking about before, you know, we, all my life is to serve, to help others and my kids and my wife, they miss, they miss out on the best of me because when I get home, I'm not at my best, I'm at my worst. I'm tired and I'm grumpy and I'm over it. So they don't get the best of me. So definitely owe uh, my, my wife and my kids an apology as well. I just want to be a better dad, better husband. You know, that, that's something that it, the, the main thing that weighs on me is yeah, being a better husband and a better, uh, a better dad. Because, uh, you know, just to be there more. Time, such a scarce resource and quality time. And I definitely need to give more quality time to my family. Um, and that's something um, that I can definitely, definitely do better. Oh. Man, there's a whole heap of stuff that I regret, um, but I've learned from. You know, that's I think the biggest thing for me. Do I, re do I regret them now? Uh, Probably not, because it's, 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 it's led me to where I am today, to be able to help. It's like, there's so many things I've done, um, you know, that have led me down some bad, dark paths. But if I didn't go through them, if I, you know, I wouldn't be able to impact the people that I am now. Um, but, you know, something that I've always, I definitely regret, though, in terms of when I was a kid, 
was the way that, um, that I treated my grandparents. You know, I, was, um, I moved to Australia when I was five years old and my father went to prison. And my grandparents really spoiled me. And there's one moment um, that I, I still remember to this day. And I still feel bad when I think about it, you know, and I was just a little brat. You know, we've got to think that my grandparents were very strict to my parent, to my, to my dad and his, his siblings, very strict. Old school Samoan, Seventh Day Adventist. Um, but they were, they compensated by spoiling me, you know. Um, every day just spoiled me. And there was one particular birthday where my mum hadn't sent a gift yet or hadn't arrived yet. And so I, I, I didn't get a gift from my mum and I was really upset. And then my grandparents tried their best, you know, they, but they, um, they didn't have much money. Um, they didn't have much money to give, uh, give me the, the birthday that I wanted, you know. And they made me uh, <coughs> my favourite peanut brownies, you know, and my grandma done all this. They just did what they could, but I was a brat, you know, I was a brat. And I remember just uh, throwing the cookies in the rubbish. And I, but I just remember looking into my grandparents' room from the kitchen and my grandpa just had his head down and they were just um, sad. You know, they was just would have been heartbroken because they couldn't, uh, they loved me and wanted to give me everything. So that's definitely, uh, things like that was, is it definitely a regret and I can't change it now. But, um, I guess I did learn to be grateful. But uh, my grandparents are here now, so I made sure that they knew the, I made sure they knew that I, I did love them and uh, I was grateful for everything. I, I, I don't know, I think one great thing might be that, you know, I try to make sure I lead by example I wouldn't ask anyone to do something that I'm not willing to do. Uh, I wouldn't ask someone to do something that I haven't done before. And um, I think it's important to, you know, to, to not only be a servant leader, but, but, but be a leader that leads by example so others can follow. I think that would be a, a quality attribute of mine.